It is oh, my cute little friend. It's Wednesday evening right now. I just put on some self tan. You can't really tell it's gradual self tan. I'll show you guys the one that I use. You can see how like shiny I am from it though. I went to Sephora today and picked up more of my favorite self tanning stuff. I've been using the Bondi Sands and I love that one because it, it gets you like tan super quick but it dries my skin out like crazy after a few days of having it on and then it's like scaly and just does not look cute and then you have to like scrub to get it all off. I've never had that issue with the gradual tan before so I honestly just mix these two for a deeper tan. This is the light medium. I've heard light medium is good for like, I forget what skin tone, but I think like the medium to dark one is better if you have like olive undertones or something, um, something like that. But I use the light medium one and then just use the gradual on that. I think I've shown you guys all of the progress that I've made in the apartment thus far. The leasing office was so kind. I don't know if I told you guys this yet, but my microwave was broken when I moved in and I didn't notice it until like the first night that I stayed here. And they had emailed me during the day, I guess, and they were like, oh, like, we're so sorry about that. Um, we're gonna have someone come fix it. And they had someone come fix it immediately. The woman that like organized all of that was so kind. And they came by today because she felt so bad. She dropped off like a little orchid, like a little welcome home gift for me. It's so cute. Let me show you guys. But honestly, just like the tone of this complex versus my old complex. It's amazing. I love it here so much. This is the cute little orchid that they dropped off. Like how pretty is this? So cute, I love it. We are approaching sunset hour. It's, what time is it? It's 5.15, so we've still got a little bit of time before sunset. So, I went ahead and moved my mirror right here and I love it, this is gonna be the mirror spot. I went to Restoration Hardware today to look at tables, the outlet in um, Irvine, to look at tables for here. I didn't find anything that I liked. They said they're getting a new shipment tomorrow, but I don't know if I'll have time to go tomorrow. But I'm thinking a rectangular black table, like black wood and then black wood chairs. I think that'll look really cute over here. So that's like the vibe I wanna go for there. And then probably like a really big mirror on this wall, like floor mirror, but like, Whole wall vibe you feel okay i went to the mall today let me show you guys what i got because i went to aritzia and i went to zara I can do a quick little haul and i can show you what i got but that lighting is not it so i'm gonna have to move you over here hopefully this lighting is it hope this is better better cute i mean obviously the lighting in here is not very flattering it's not the best my shoes are all over the place right now if you guys have any ideas for like shoe organization please let me know like i mean i have an idea in mind uh like i said like the container store little containers to put your shoes in like the little envelope type boxes uh but they don't have any of those right now i haven't looked online to see if they have them but that's like what i'm thinking for like here and then i might get rid of this little cubby thing if I do like shoe boxes right there because then I won't need this I might put it in the office closet I don't know yet we will see okay let's do a quick little spring haul for you guys let me show you guys what I picked up today Zara was like a madhouse I've been trying to go to Zara for so long and every time I go it's like an insane line because I go to South Coast Plaza that's the only one that I know of in this area um but I actually got in and then three of the things that I was very excited about didn't end up fitting. So I have to exchange those for a smaller size, but let me show you guys what I am keeping. This cute little crop. It's like a, a gray green color. I figured it was like spring vibes. I also got this cute little square neck top. This is super cute. I'm excited for that. I need to try this on still, but I did put on self tanner. I think it'll work. I'm just like a little worried about the straps. I just want to make sure the straps aren't like too long. Um, so I'm going to try that on probably tomorrow and then decide if I'm going to return it or keep it. Again, with the spring vibes, I saw they had these cute little like boxy crop tops. So I picked up this in like this 
green color. I don't know if it's the lighting. It's making it look gray, but it's like kind of like a seafoam green almost, like very muted. And then I also got it in black as well. Other little thing I picked up, nice little crop v-neck tank. I thought this would be cute. It's like a, a taupe, almost like an oatmeal color. That is the vibes that this gives me. Hello, so the door's open if you would like to come in. All right, and then I ended up going to Aritzia and I got this really pretty like seafoam green again cropped um crew neck these are like the cozy af tna fleece so i got it in the green color and then i got this fun pink color for spring look at me branching out i am surprised at myself and then i also got that same one in white as well because i don't have any cropped white um crew necks and those are really nice i love wearing stuff like that when i'm working out and just to like lounge around the house okay, i think that is everything that i got and then when i went to sephora at sephora i ended up picking up the gradual tan which i just showed you more of my favorite dry shampoo this is going to be my go-to like for a very long time i'm obsessed with this i used to use this and then i don't know why i ever stopped it is my favorite but i get like the jumbo bottles they're amazing so i picked up another one of those and then I ordered more of the matte screen sunscreen. This is a sunscreen that I like to use. If you struggle with oily skin, this stuff is amazing. So I am literally almost out of it. So I ordered more because they didn't have any in stock in the store. So mm -hmm. that will be yeah. arriving soon. I think that's all I have to show for like what I got today. My plan for right now is to open these two boxes really quick and pull out any clothing and stuff that is, hello, hidden in there because I know I have some hoodies in there to hang up and I think I'm still missing some leggings so they've got to be in there somewhere so let me open these and see. You have to be your biggest fan and when things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working but there's something inside of you that says, I just have to follow that. Because you don't know who you're gonna be, who you're gonna be, who you're gonna be. hangers because I have already gone through the first pack completely and I literally only have 20 left. I ended up buying 80 hangers and I have 20 left now because I ended up, since I don't have a dresser, all of the things that were folded in my dresser are now hanging up. So that was a lot more stuff hanging in the end, so I needed way more hangers than I thought I did, but I think I found almost all of my clothing. I feel like I'm still missing some clothes and I have no idea where they could be, but there's definitely some sweat sets and like matching sets that I haven't found yet. No idea where those could possibly be. Maybe in the office? I don't know, I don't even think so. Like I don't have anything left in here. This is like Poshmark stuff. Ooh, I do actually know. I have one last box in here it could possibly be in. All right, now I can officially say that I found all of my clothing. I was missing so many pairs of leggings too. I found it all, thank goodness. Everything has been found now. person I feel like something always happens to me I just got past that whole uh, issue with 
from me accidentally scratching my eye and not being able to see for a few days. And I just cut my finger open like an idiot because I was slicing my bagel. I should have been doing it on a cutting board, but I was doing it over the trash because I was like, no, I don't want to dirty more dishes. And then I jabbed the end of the knife straight into my finger. So wrapped it up, took some ibuprofen. I'm going to ice it and hopefully I'll be fine because I'm supposed to train tomorrow at 8 a.m. So here's hoping I wake up tomorrow and it feels okay. I mean, I can, I can still manage with well, just one finger not working. It'll be okay. I'll just like keep it wrapped. But why? <laughs> why does this happen? I feel like this always happens to me. It's like one thing happens and then another and I'm just like, oh my goodness. Okay. Well, I truly need to go grocery shopping. I should have done that today, but I'm like, no, no, I have enough to like get me by till Sunday when I usually go grocery shopping. I should have just ordered some Amazon Fresh so I could have like something, but I did not do any of that. I did get my apartment organized, so there's that, but I don't have any food. All I have is bagels, so I'm gonna do like cinnamon and cream cheese, like cinnamon sugar bagels, because I literally don't have anything else. And that's the only thing that I can come up with for now. My poor finger though. As long as it's like not still bleeding tomorrow, I think I'll be okay. Uh, I mean, it was, a, it was pretty deep, but it was like the center of my finger. Like I sliced it like right here. So I think I'll be okay. <laughs> oh, if not, then I will obviously go see a doctor, but I think it'll be okay. We're hoping for the best. We're hoping for the best here. Already bailed on training on Monday, but that was like, I literally could not see. I couldn't even drive on Sunday. I think on Monday I was able to drive, but it was like still a little blurry. I couldn't wear contacts yet, so I still couldn't train. But now I'm gonna show up tomorrow with a busted finger and he's gonna be like, what did you do? I probably should have used a butter knife and this wouldn't have happened. I was using a steak knife and cutting it. We all make mistakes, that's okay. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna call it a night for myself. I'm going to make this little bagel, make myself a cup of tea and crawl into bed and just pretend like that never happened. <laughs> oh my goodness, okay. I'll, I will see you guys in the morning and I will remember to bring my camera this time so we can film some of my workout. Hi guys, just ending off today's vlog. It's a few days later and I just finished editing it. I realized there was no outro. So hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Let me know what kind of videos you guys wanna see now that we are all moved in to my new apartment. And make sure you're subscribed, leave a thumbs up, and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys wanna see. Love you guys and I'll see you in the next video.